As you know, the Environmental Management System, or EMS, is a way for the City and County of Denver to measure and control the impacts that our work has on the environment. Every single department in the City is involved with the EMS. The EMS identifies potential areas in each department that could have an impact on the environment. The EMS creates a system in which we can manage those impacts. But a system can't function without each and every one of you on a daily basis. It's really your work that you do every day, whether it's calling out and letting your supervisor or others know when you see something that's amiss, or taking time to ensure something's taken care of properly that creates a truly successful EMS system. So given all of this, you might find yourself asking, Where do I fit into Denver's EMS? Where do I fit in Denver's EMS? Where do I fit into Denver EMS? Where do I fit into Denver's EMS? Where do I fit into Denver EMS program? In Parks and Recreations, we are part of the EMS every time. We are careful to follow the guidelines outlined by the Colorado Department of Agriculture's rules and regulations for proper pesticide application in natural areas. In Parks and Recreation, I am part of the EMS every time I ensure safe storage of pool chemicals to prevent spills and leaks and by properly disposing of pool chemical containers. Also, I ensure accurate and safe amounts of chemicals are added to swimming pools. In Parks and Recreation, I am part of the EMS every time I use the centralized record keeping system to track fertilizer or pesticide application on golf course turf. Data from this system helps create the Integrated Pest Management Plan, or IPM, that keeps inventories to a minimum, evaluates products, manages disease resistance, and share best management practices to provide excellent golf course conditions while creating a sustainable environment. In Parks and Recreation, I am part of the EMS every time I am careful to protect potable water supply lines from cars connection while working on irrigation systems. In Parks and Recreation, I am part of the EMS every time I am careful to follow the environmental guidelines to prevent, control, clean up, or report fuel or chemical spills. So we just heard a few examples that show you how does the EMS apply to my job. I hope you can relate to them and see how important you are to the EMS. The EMS provides a structure to manage environmental impacts. And so while every department in the city has its own annual EMS goals to continuously improve its operations, it's really people like you that are the boots on the ground and the eyes and ears around town that have the most potential to contribute to the EMS.